Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering DSQs and how to use them. But first, this video has been live now for some time on my Patreon page. That's patreon.com forward slash RM2K Dev. So once again, a huge thank you goes out to those supporting RM2K Dev over there. If you're interested in helping fund the creation of more videos like this, then please consider donating a few dollars to help pay for the expenses that go into the content creation. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. With that said, let's get started. So a DSQ is essentially a first in, first out data structure. It operates very similarly to the DS stack. However, rather than it being the last in is the first out, in this case, it's the first in is the first out. So imagine that deck of cards example that I gave in the stack video. Rather than placing your cards onto the top of the deck, we place our cards into the bottom of the deck. So that means that the first in to the deck is going to be the first out of the deck. So with that said, let's jump in. I'm back with the DS Tester project. This project will be available for download. Just check the description for the link. I'm going to jump into the create event. And as you can see, we have some comments set up here. The first one says that we're going to create a DSQ. Again, this is essentially saying we want to reserve some space in memory for the DSQ. We're asking GameMaker to do that for us. So I'm going to say my Q is going to be equal to DSQ, and I'm just going to use the DSQ create function to do that. The next thing is we need to store some data in our queue. Now, unlike the stack where you push and pop variables or, or data into the stack, we're going to be using NQ and DQ. So I'm going to use DS, oh sorry, DS stack, DSQ, and I want to NQ, there it is, into the my queue, which is the stack, sorry, which is the queue that I made, and I'm going to NQ the number one as a string. I'm going to paste that a few times, and I'm going to put in two, three, and four. So we've essentially put some data into our queue. I'm going to close off the create event now and jump into the destroy event. Now, because we ask Game Maker to reserve us some memory, we also need to ask Game Maker to free that memory once we're done with it. If we don't free the memory and we keep creating instances of this object, we're just going to be asking for more and more memory every time. Eventually, your program will crash because the system will have no more RAM to give you. So when we're done using these, we also need to say DSQ destroy. I'm going to call that my underscore Q. There we go. Finally, we need to draw the information to the screen. Now, before I start this, I'm going to jump back into the create event and I'm going to create a variable called display text. And I'm just going to set that to nothing, just like we did for the stack. That way, when we draw to the screen, we will have some text to display. Now, I'm going to say if DSQ is empty, my Q. There we go. And I need to make sure that that says not. Sorry, this needs to be not empty. So we start that with an exclamation mark. If the DSQ is not empty, we're going to get the value out of the queue and display it. If it is empty, however, we are going to say display text equals Q empty. There we go. Now back up here in our, if the queue is not empty, we need to get the value. So we say display text Display text is going to be equal to DSQ, and this is going to be DQ. So we're basically just saying DQ the next item that you're going to give us. And that's my Q. There we go. Finally, we need to draw that text to the screen. So I'm just going to say draw text, position 10, comma 10. I'm just saying 10, 10 because it looks nicer. And we're going to just draw display text. There we go. Um, now this is obviously... I've done something wrong here, I'm sorry. We need to take this whole if statement and move that into a global left released function. So just add an event called mouse, global mouse left released. There it is, and we're going to paste that in there. Sorry, I messed that up. Essentially, what we're saying is when we release the mouse button, we want to check the queue to see if there's an item. We're going to pull that item out and set it to display text, and then in the draw event, we're going to draw display text to the screen. So let's run this project and hopefully everything works fine. So now when I left click, you'll see we get one because that was the first thing that we put into the stack. The next thing we put in was two. The next thing we put in was three, four, and finally the queue is empty. So I hope this has explained a little bit more about how these queues work. In the next video, I'll go into how to use a priority queue, which again is very similar. However, we specify the priorities for each item. So. If this video has helped you, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.